of Duty, we can really kill some noobs. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Aren't your parents supposed to be coming to pick you up? Oh, no, my parents usually work late, so I take the bus home. Yes, hey, Mom, is it okay if Mikey comes in today? Please, we already finished our homework at home room, so we have a free day. Please, Mom, I could really use a teammate for Kai. But where is Mikey's parents at? They can't come get him. Oh, his parents work late, so he was going to take the bus anyway. Please, Mom. Oh, fine, but you better wipe your shoes. I don't want you getting in here getting it all dirty. Why your parents don't pick you up? And why you gotta ride the bus? Let me guess. They don't want to be bothered, huh? Um, they're busy. I don't mind, though. Mom, stop! Oh, hush, Joy. I'm just asking them. That's all. Where's that smell? Mikey, when the last time you took a bath? Mom! It's okay, Joy. Miss Key and I just showered this morning. I find that seriously hard to believe. I mean, look at the state of your shirt. Like, do your parents not bother to wash your clothes or even buy you new ones? You look homeless. Mom, it's not like that. You're being rude. Actually, I think it's me who stinks. We've been hooping all day, bro, and I didn't even put on deodorant this morning. Absolutely not. What kind of cheap deodorant is that? It's generic. It's not even name brand. Joey, you're not putting them chemicals on your skin. Boy, you better wait till we get home to take a bath. Here. Oh, Mikey, what do your parents do? Actually, my mom is sick, and my dad works two jobs so we can pay the rent and pay for my mom's medicine. These days, people call laziness being sick. Yo, free Lord and mama probably at home, living comfortably on her couch while she eat up all her food that she got from them food stamps that us taxpayers had to pay back because we go to work and we work hard every single day. I don't like that at all, you see. Don't tell me it's not like that. I know your type when I see it. No, please stop. Mikey's my best friend and you don't know anything about him. You know, you really should have just people that you don't get to know first. So now you gonna tell me what it's like for people when you still need your mommy to tuck you in at night? Why do you have to be like that? Ugh. Hey, Joy, I don't mind. See, he don't mind. He probably grateful that he riding around in this luxurious car instead of the bus. Ain't you, Mikey? Um, sure, Miss Keaton. Oh, Mikey, hurry up, bro. I'm gonna check my room my new car so we can kill some nose and come Whoa, your house is so cool, man. Oh, it's not gonna wear the filthy shoes in my house and stuff up my floor. When is the last time your parents got you some new shoes? And I mean some new, new ones. I'm sorry, Miss Keaton. Oh, you never asked us to take off our shoes. I still have on mine and so do you. You're wearing the latest Jordans and they spotless. Plus, I'm wearing Louboutins, so we good. But him on the other hand, I don't know what type of dirt, mud, and germs he got on the bottom of his shoes that he could track inside our house. So sorry, Mikey. Come on, let's just go to my house. Okay, Joy, let's go. Die, scum, die! Get him, get him, bro! He's right behind you! Oh, man, I gotta reload. Quick, cover me! I can't, man! I'm surrounded! Oh, no, I'm dead. Let just go run, bro. Just go run. Run, bro! Run, run, run! Oh, I'm running. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. Oh, dang it! I'm dead, too, bro. What do you want to do now? I better get home. It's getting kind of late. No, bro, you can't leave yet! Let's get something to eat! At least eat something and then you could go. I know you're hungry because I am. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, but are you sure it's okay for me to stay? Yeah, of course, bro. Why wouldn't it be? Let's go see what's in the kitchen. My mom hasn't really come down yet. The cook is taking a break, so with some honey bunches of oats be okay? Of course, I love honey bunches of oats. Joey said I could have some, but there's a little bit of milk left for your coffee. No, I'm not using your backwash milk. What is disgusting? Mom, we have plenty of milk downstairs in the stores. I can just go bring up another one. That was just the only one in the fridge. What's wrong if Mikey has one bowl of cereal? It's not my job to feed him when his own parents came. I'm um, Joey. I think I'm just going to go to your room and get my bag so I can go home. No, bro. Please stay. Look, I'm sorry about my mom. Just, just go in my room and wait for like five minutes. I'll be up in a few. If you still want to leave after that, then fine. Well, the nerve on that boy. I better not catch you stealing anything while you up there. Go ahead, honey. I got us some sushi rolls. I'm sure you're hungry, so let's eat. Okay, can Mikey have some with us? There's like over 30 rolls in there. He loves sushi. Well, if he loves sushi so much, then his parents should be buying it for him. It's not my job to give out free food. 
food to freeloaders like him. Mom, what are you doing? Why are you treating Mikey so badly? We have more than enough food. You don't know anything. That boy is a bad influence. He's dirty, he stinks, and he poor. All y'all do all day is play video games. You barely pass in this school, and it's because of his bad influence. Before he came along, you was doing pretty good for yourself. But now that he's here, it's like you fell in all your classes. You better recognize that boy just trying to use you because you rich and he poor. I'm doing perfectly fine before Mikey came, huh? Okay, let's see my grade then. This was three weeks ago before Mikey came. In math class, I got a D minus. The week right before he comes, I get an F in science class. Now, the week when Mikey comes and I finally become friends with him, I get an A minus on my math test. All because I want to play basketball. Mikey said, no, we're not going to play basketball until you study first. I study first and I got an A minus. And then, not only that, he helped me on my next test and I got a B plus. So, please tell me, is Mikey the problem? Wow, Joy, that is great. Why you ain't show me that before? I was planning on surprising you. Me and Mikey were even making a special appreciation folder for you. He even helped me do it because he's really good at arts and crafts. See, look. That is beautiful, honey. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Should be thanking Mikey, not me. You said that he was poor and that his parents don't feed him just because his mom is sick. You think that his mom is pretending to be sick for a disability check from the government? That is not the case. Look at this paperwork of his mom in the hospital. His mom has terminal blood cancer and his dad actually does make a lot of money. He's like the head of a firm or something. And the only reason Mikey always looks homeless is because he always has to get himself ready for school in the morning and take the bus because his dad is too busy taking care of his mom. And when his dad asks him if he wants some new clothes or shoes, he always says no because he just wants his mom to feel better. I even asked him to stay for dinner was because I knew his mom was too sick to cook and his dad doesn't know how to cook. So they've literally been eating fast food every day for like the last couple of months. So I thought maybe a healthy meal would be a good change for him. But then you came in saying all those mean things and judging him before you even really got to know him, mom. That's unfair and I thought you were better than that. Oh, Joy, I'm so sorry. I had no idea poor Mikey was going through all of that. I feel terrible for the way I treated him. I need to apologize quickly. Yes, you do. I keep telling you to never judge someone before you actually get to know them. I'm sorry, Miss Keen. I didn't mean to go him up. The only reason I'm still here is because Joy asked me to be here. Oh, Mikey, you don't need to do any of that if anybody needs to apologize. It's me. I judged you before I even got to know you. In the milk, psh, that doesn't even matter. Can you find it in your heart to ever forgive me? Well, of course I can, but why are you apologizing all of a sudden? I know I can be quick to judge at times, and I'm really sorry for what you and your family are going through with your mom's illness. If there is anything that you need help with, and I mean anything, you just name it. Me and my dad are doing just fine. Thank you for offering that. I was very kind of you. Fine, if you don't want my help, but you have to do one thing for me. Sure, what is it? We got so much sushi downstairs. A little birdie told me that you love sushi. So why don't you just come down there with us and eat it all up? Sure, you won't get mad? I promise, you can have all the sushi you want. And if you're craving a home-cooked meal, you can just come over and eat. No questions asked. Oh, and if your dad would like to, he can come over and eat with us. But if he doesn't have time, I can just pack some food for him. Sure, that'll make our lives so much easier. Of course, anytime. And I've got something else. It's not much, but I hope you do not mind accepting it. Consider it a heartfelt token of an apology from me to you. No way, Miss Keaton. This is way too much. I can possibly accept this. You have to, bro. How else are we going to look like the two coolest dudes in the whole entire school? Just imagine the pics we could post on Instagram and we'll be balling, my dude. Jeez, I look good in this, Miss Keaton. Thank you so much. You should really thank Joey for making me realize that I should never judge anyone before I get to know Joey, them. Joey, you the man. No, Mikey, you the man, bro. Okay, okay, y'all both the man. Now let's hurry up and go downstairs because that sushi, it ain't gonna eat itself.